People aren't working. Juan, hang on a second. We have a big discussion coming up. The economy is bad, really bad. So why should we worry about saving a three-inch fish when tens of thousands of jobs are at stake on Capitol Hill? One congressman stirred things up when he suggested the endangered Delta smelt fish might look better on a plate. Take a listen. Of the water problems in California. And it all surrounds uh, a little fish called the Delta smelt. Some smelt that are for eating, and the smelt in California, though, are for saving. And so all of this fight, all of the war, really comes down to these fish. Are you guys kidding? Do you really want to start a serious water war in California? And you think somehow that's going to solve your problems and get you more water? Joining me now are the two battling water war congressmen, Devin Nunes and John Garamendi of California. Representative Nunes, we're talking about a lot of money, but more importantly, uh, I read somewhere, what, 40,000 farming jobs at stake. Is that right, sir? Most importantly, Eric, is that this is the most impoverished area in the country. We have 20% unemployment in the San Joaquin Valley. Some of these regions reach 40%. And the reality of it is, it's, it's not just about the bait fish that they're talking about. They've actually come up with this scheme that it, you kill the bait fish that then kills other fish that somehow the farmers and farm workers in the San Joaquin Valley are responsible for the decline of the killer whales out in the ocean. So we have lost all common sense in this country. And all we're trying to do is put common sense back and allow this valley, uh, where I'm from, where I represent, to go back to work. Congressman Garamendi, 40,000, uh, at least 40,000 jobs at stake in that area. Plus, food prices are skyrocketing across America. This will only continue to drive prices higher. Why is that three-inch fish so important? Well, Eric, you got your facts wrong. Actually, it's about six to 7,000 jobs, and that came from the water district that uh, is in question here, which actually has the junior water rights. They are the lowest in priorities and when there is a shortage and there was a three-year drought in California they got less water there's no way near 40,000 because of agriculture the housing the collapse of the housing industry that did lead to an enormous number of uh, unemployed throughout California and certainly in the Central Valley. Congress, Congress, the real Nunes. issue here, just a moment, now, let me, go ahead. just a second. Let's go. The real issue here is not about the Delta smelt. In fact, the you ecosystem bet. of the California Delta is collapsing and the water exports are a part of that problem and what was trying to be dealt with here right. is the total collapse of the ecosystem. Congressman it's salmon, Nunes, it's not it's the first time, it's, it's, it's not the first time a fish or a frog or, or a little lizard or a, 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 um, a, a seahorse has caused a lot of disruption in, in, in a lot well, of things, a lot Eric, of, uh, a lot of uh, heard, projects that we've heard jobs. The, Go ahead, Congressman yeah, Nunes. You've heard about the canary played, in the coal mine. Why this. do they put canaries? There sir, are certain, sir, there are Please, I, I'm ahead, asking Congressman Nunes. I, I, we, I, sure. I want him to respond to the, to the, to the accusation yeah. let me, that let me it's, say it's this, a whole Eric. ecosystem. We have, we have played this game for a long time. What you have is you have people from the 1960s who came up with bright ideas that lived in San Francisco and Hollywood uh, who then ran for Congress on the, on the whole advice that they're going to save the world uh, because canaries in the coal mine and tipped in kangaroo rats and Delta smelt. Uh, let me tell you what's going on here. We have areas that have 40% unemployment. We have hundreds of thousands of acres of land that's been fallowed over the last five years for no good reason at all. As you said, this, we have high commodity prices. And so, so this is really about common sense versus real eco-terrorism to some degree. And, and here's the thing, if the, if the Delta ecosystem is collapsing, I would ask Nancy Pelosi, John Garamendi, Senator Feinstein and Senator Boxer to turn off San Francisco's water. San Francisco's water, would, it comes from the Sierra Nevada mountain range, too. If they're so worried about the Delta smelt and the collapsing ecosystem, shut their frickin' water off. Go ahead, sir. But they're not willing to shut their water off. Go ahead, sir. Well, let's get down to the facts here. We know that in California, we've got 38 million people. We know that we have serious water issues. This particular bill that Mr. Nunes has introduced is starting a water war already. He is putting aside a 18-year uh, 
conflict that was solved with the San Joaquin River settlement. He's taken that aside. He's cut out the money, and then he's complained that nothing's happening. It is really a very dishonest situation going on here. With regard to the Westlands Water District, one of a multiple number of districts in California that receive federal water, they are short because they are the shortest straw. They're the junior water right. Other districts, neighboring districts on uh, in the Central Valley, in San Joaquin Valley, as well as the Sacramento Valley, have received most of the water and in some cases 100 percent of their allocation. What we have here is an effort by Mr. Nunes to take one district, the Westlands Water District, and using the power of the federal law, jump that district ahead of every other water district in the state of California. Throwing aside sir, the state sir, water on, rights. Go, go, go ahead. And, uh, wait a minute. Uh, this is really well, I, important. But, sir, you, get, you, you have to get to the point, use, please. You cannot use just a bunch of sound bites here. This is really serious. It's about the California economy. It's also his bill destroys right. the right, ability right, right. Hold of the, the federal hold on, and the hold state on, uh, Congressman to work Garamendi. together. Hang on one second. Let, let me get uh, Devin Nunes sure. to weigh in. Go ahead, sir. He's saying um, yeah, so it's, this it's is, a bigger picture. This is complete and utter nonsense. This is complete and utter nonsense. It's not about one district. This is about the entire state's water system that essentially has been crumbling to its knees because these fools have been shutting off the pumps that put water into the aqueduct. If you've ever drove, driven along I-5 in California, you've seen it. Uh, and they are directly responsible for drying up hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland. They won't answer the question. Do they want to take San Francisco's water supply in the San Francisco Peninsula and dump it out to the Delta to save their precious fish? No, they don't, because they couldn't take that from their constituents. And so they talk about a water war being started. No, there hasn't been a water war. We have been put into their liberal concentration camp, and my constituents in this San Joaquin Valley is not going to take their nonsense All anymore. Right. So, right. Mr. Garamendi, if well, you want to cut off San Francisco's yeah. water supply, Go ahead. L last uh, and word, then I have some respect for you, but until then, that's it. Quickly, Garamendi, quickly. Well, Mr. Nunes, I've got great respect for you, but you have a very bad piece of legislation here. You need, we all need to understand that there are answers to many of the water problems in California, but when you take 40 years right. and the ability of the state of California to control its own water and hand it to the federal government, take one water district and right, jump right, it we, ahead we of every other this, water sir. district. We did this. It's a great, a bad piece it's of a legislation. great discussion topic, but we did it. We can't rehash it. We'll go. We'll continue. We'll stay on. I'm going to say thank you to Congressman Devin Nunes and John Garamendi. Let me bring it out to tonight's all-star panel. Rejoining us from the left is Fox News political analyst Juan Williams. On the right, Fox News medical contributor Dr. Keith Ablo and radio talk show host Andrew Wilkow. I hear you guys on the table here snickering. Sniff, there's some, they're lobbing some grenades at each other here. I would think with all the tears they're crying in San Francisco, they wouldn't have a water problem. They could just, they could just, run, they could just save the smelt with their tears. Doc, Doc, were you surprised at some of the, uh, the harsh words? I mean, this is a big issue. It's a huge issue. People's livelihoods are at stake. It's not necessarily just about a three-inch fish. It's, it's about farming and agricultural business in Southern California, of course, Central it's about California. people's jobs, and I think that we have to get rational. We have to be honest and truthful. Nobody knows. I keep going back to this. Nobody knows whether that smelt is supposed to survive for the next 50 years or should pass into the list of species that have passed from existence. You know, if there were dinosaurs around right now, we'd be in trouble, wouldn't we? Mm. So the bottom line is, the idea that you're going to save a three-inch fish is a mm. lovely, poetic idea, but it may bear no relationship to reality whatsoever. Hey, Juan, I wouldn't lose Juan, a few jobs over it. This fish, I, I'm guessing they could uh, put a whole bunch of them, uh, I guess, braid them somewhere else and put them back in there if they had to, but it would be no cost to the taxpayer if they just turn this water back on. And all those farmers, the 40,000 that our brain room came up with, uh, 40,000 farmers would get their jobs back, get their livelihoods back. Well, I mean, I think the question here is whether or not you're sacrificing the, the rivers and, and the streams. And, and the threat is that you go after the entire body of federal government uh, efforts to try to save those rivers because of this smelt. And, uh, you know, that's what, that's what the Republican is saying. Let's just, if they have time to go around saving fish, then no, let's well, well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm, I'm not sure, but you've been on the show a lot, and we've talked about this quite a bit. There was that sagebrush lizard, a, a three-inch lizard oh, yeah. happened to be, and we, we had that one-inch seahorse, the, uh, the, the dwarf seahorse, again, threatening oil supplies. When does it end?
But your point is, look, you got to put people and jobs first. And you know what? I agree with you. But it's not at that point in terms of if you're saying let's just do away with the environmental concern about these rivers in California and the fact is they are the source of water, I think that may be short-sighted. Put people in jobs first, Doc. Um, hey, it, but, but Juan says we're not there. I don't know. 9.1 million. I'm sorry, 14 million out of work might think we're there. Yeah, you put people in jobs first because you can't neglect the fact that people, employed people, tax-paying people, they're the ones who have funded the efforts to protect rivers and streams and the environment and forestry and the rest of it. So we can't make ourselves extinct as Americans, right? The whole world would have been different and shrouded in darkness if Americans hadn't had the wherewithal to defend the world and assert liberty. Well, we're going to leave it right there. There's more, lots more Follow the Money coming right up. You're watching the Fox